I wish this was clickbait. I really do, but it's not. This actually happened. A veteran killed himself in 2020. A whole investigation went down, and yes, the VA tried to cover it up at multiple levels, and this sucks, man. There's really nothing to say about it. I'm going to share an article from Stars and Stripes. Let's go ahead and dive into this. Veterans family receives 1.7 mil in wrongful death claim against Indiana VA facility. Now, food for thought. Remember how the VHA reported a 91.8% approval rate for outpatient care? I guess this family was not included in that uh, assessment they did. But hey, who am I? I'm just a dude on YouTube currently in a hotel room making videos, right? I don't know anything I'm saying. But hey, let's go ahead and look at this. So this was posted March of this year, so a few months ago. And the family of an Indiana veteran who died by suicide after a Department of VA facility mismanaged his care will receive $1 million. So first off, I'm glad for the family, at least for winning um, the $1.7 million. But man, the more you dig into this article, the worse it gets. And that's exactly what we are going to do. So Army veteran Jason Moon, 33, um, reached out for behavioral health. So this veteran reached out for mental health care in 2020. Um, and here we go. First strike. There's many, many strikes. Workers failed to conduct an appropriate suicide risk assessment or provide timely care. That's two strikes. Suicide risk assessment and providing timely care, which led to his death of a self-inflicted gunshot wound while this part is really dark while his wife and three of his five kids were there according to the complaint my husband was failed by a system that exists solely to support women and women who have served this country absolutely the va has one purpose that is to support veterans that's it so va's press conferences about how they want a relationship with each and every veteran yet they're inviting anyone but veterans to ask the va secretary question Absolutely blows my mind. Let's go ahead and just keep diving into this. Moon's wife, LaShonda, said, I've spent nearly three and a half years reliving the worst nightmare of my life hundreds of times while trying to be the voice for her veteran. Absolutely. As I've demanded the VA take accountability and pleaded with them to make policy changes. Now, the more you dig into this, the worse it gets. So just food for thought. We're, it's about to get real bad. And you're going to see the VA's cover up here in a second. Since the veteran's death, VA has completed all eight actions recommended by the Inspector General Review. Okay, so OIG um, made some recommendations and the VA completed them, says Terrence Hayes. That's the VA uh, public affairs officer that does the press conferences. It also installed a new leadership at the Vet Center, strengthened oversight and implementation of suicide risk assessments and follow-up processes in alignment with national policy at centers across the nation. You know, very sound public affairs, public relations response that is really empty. It has all the good buzzwords, but uh, the event happened. You know, the event happened. But how did it happen with a 91.8% approval rate? I don't know. I don't know. Moving forward, here we go. We will continue to work and make sure this does not happen again. There's nothing more important to the VA than providing high-quality mental health care to veterans. It's easy to say that when you get caught. You got caught with your pants down, okay? You got caught, especially veterans in crisis, whenever and wherever they need it. So keep this statement in mind, okay, because what the OIG report is the um, found is the complete opposite. We're incredibly saddened, yada, yada, yada. Jason Moon left the Army in 2017 as a, as a CO, Chief Warrant Officer. Um, okay, he wanted to be a pilot. He suffered from nightmares and anxiety, which led to alcohol abuse, according to the complaint. His behavior became violent, um, unpredictable, very, very templated um, veteran mental health, okay? I've seen this story, this, this template right here hundreds if not thousands of times and i'm not even in the healthcare world all right 
and his wife says he's suffering um, from post-traumatic stress disorder that had never been properly diagnosed. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Even with warning signs that he was likely going to harm himself, the Veterans Center placed Jason Moon. Here we go. This is where the dirt is. Jason Moon in the care of an unlicensed intern. Strike. Who was not properly supervised. Strike again. And only provided appointments by phone. Another strike. According to the complaint. The intern failed to properly assess Moon. Another strike. And did not perform required suicide and lethality assessments. Uh, yet again, another strike. You only get three strikes. right? We're, we're in double digits right now. He also failed. This part is absolutely insane. I mean, they're not even doing their job. He also failed to collect records from an emergency room visit and admittance to an inpatient behavioral health facility where Moon told staff that he felt hopeless and was thinking about suicide. So because this dude did not put in the effort to retrieve records, um, this veteran's dead. I mean, that's that's the that's the point blank story here 91.8 percent approval rate though good job vha we trust you okay hey va trust scores are up don't worry about it after the intern left the vet center don't worry it gets way worse from here a follow-up counselor did not return moon's messages did not return moon's messages and falsified records after his death to hide her own negligence and place the blame on the veteran. Look at that. After the intern left the veteran center, a follow-up counselor did not return Moon's messages and falsified records after his death to hide her own negligence. Just take that in for a second. Falsified records after his death to hide her own negligence. Hey, trust scores are up, though. Don't worry about it. VAIG report released 2023 found the director of that center. It gets even worse. Of that center had informed his staff categorizing a veteran's risk of suicide as intermediate or high would neg negatively subject the veteran's center to increase scrutiny from VA leaders. So leadership saying, hey, don't rate intermediate or high because we want to stay under the radar. Forget the veteran. We want to stay under the radar. This led to staff rating the suicide risk as low for Moon, despite him reporting stressors that have elevated it. Money does not bring a person back, nor does it replace a parent or a spouse, but it can provide support. Absolutely. I mean, it just, this stinks, man. This stinks. Why is no one at the VA press conferences asking these questions when the VA is reporting extremely high trust scores or extremely high veteran outpatient scores of 91.8%? Riddle me that. I mean, I don't even know, you know, I'm, I'm sitting here in the hotel room making a video about this, but this veteran's family is dealing with this in real time. So don't worry. VA trust scores are up though. Everything's cool. Everything's cool. 